What's happening, guys? Welcome to Bleacher Bloggers for Friday, October 19th. Today, holy crap, will the Rockies ever lose? We open up the fan mail fun bag to show you some crazy captions, and we'll show you a great viewer video. Plus, I'm going to battle it out with an FSU blogger about the huge Miami-Florida State game this weekend. Um, Kane Saki now. You're living in a state of delirium. You know that, right? Yeah, I know okay, that great. too. All right. Let's uh, start things off with our blog of the day. The blog of the day. We go to withleather.com, where the top story is about the Pats-Dolphins game this weekend in South Florida. Well, actually, nobody really cares about the game. It's actually about the fact that Giselle Bunchen and Carolyn Murphy may show up at Dolphin Stadium. Right. The article is actually called Attractive People to Attend NFL Game. It's funny. It's got great viewer comments. Also has pictures of Giselle and a link to Carolyn Murphy's SI swimsuit pictures. I mean, really, what else could you possibly want? Well, actually, the article does go on to say that if the game gets really boring, maybe Giselle and Carolyn would make out. Ooh. That's awesome. Anyway, it's one of the best sports blogs out there. Amazingly opinionated, great articles, great blogs, great pictures. You gotta check it out. And this will tip you off to how great this blog is. People who get offended or take too much pride in their favorite teams should probably just leave now because I hate you already. That's nice. A big welcoming hug from withleather.com. Check them out. How about some fan mail? Fan mail fun bag. All right, first off, Show 34 on YouTube wrote this. Man, the guy on the right reminds me of Sarah Silverman. I do not look like Sarah Silverman. But my penis can talk. You wanna hear my penis talk? Uncanny. <laughs> Let's give away a t-shirt. We asked you to captionize this picture. And the best comment is from San Wake on YouTube who writes, I hope I don't have a taste this bad in my mouth when the Knicks draft me. Ah, nothing better than making fun at the expense of the Knickerbockers. Poor sad Knickerbockers. Yeah, poor sad Knickerbockers. But congratulations because you just got yourself a Bleacher Boggers t-shirt. 100% cotton. Woohoo! Yes. We also want to give major props to Z Daddy who wrote an awesome comment slash blog really on our site about the college football playoff system. He breaks it down, makes a lot of sense. Head over to Bleacher Bloggers, click on Tuesday, October 16th show, read the comment and respond to it, or I'll come to your house and I'll break your freaking leg. Oh, really? Yep. Maybe just, you know, sprain it. Break it right in half. Do what he says. Jam, man, jam. The Miami Hurricanes play the Florida State Seminoles this week in a college matchup which should be considered the stinker of the week. But you know, Brent, it used to be the game of the week. The game of the year, in fact. And you know, Dave, I used to be devilishly handsome. Things fade, Oh, <laughs> uh, they do. Uh, right now, joining us on the phone is Jerry Scott from TomahawkNation.com. And this site's been around for about a year, and basically it's designed to just... Have be a place for FSU fans to just get together and rant. Yeah. Really trying to build a strong sense of community for those lame Knowles fans. Taking shots already. That's such poor taste, Dave. Hey, Jerry, what's happening, man? How are you? Nothing much. How you doing? Good, good, good. good. All right, Jerry, so we know that FSU and UM's programs suck right now. Uh, so we're going to give each of you 30 seconds to tell us why your team sucks more. Sort of like a reverse blog battle. And uh, I am the judge, okay. which is just about right. Great. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, Jerry. Uh, so you want to go first or second, bud? I'm going to go second. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. You you're fell into my trap. You're going to set the table for me. You oh, ready? Oh, I'm ready. All right, Dave. Your time starts. Wait. Now I'm ready. Over the top, kid. Okay. Now. All right. First of all, we lost to FSU two years in a row, okay? This year we lost to Oklahoma 51-13, plus we lost to North Carolina and Georgia Tech. All right. Let's be honest. Our uniforms are pretty ugly. Plus, now our coach took the jerseys off of the back of the uniform, so I don't even know who I'm looking at anymore. I can't even <laughs> figure out who to root for. Our band is crap. No one goes to our games. We play in a dump. Next year, we're going to be moving to a stadium that's like 30 miles away from campus. Hold on. Our offense is 79th in the country. Ooh. That's pretty bad. Uh, did I already say that we have a bad fight? Fight song because we really do. That's and we it. Probably and have time. Oh, I had a good one too. No, that's it. <sighs> Sorry, time, time. You ended on the bad fight song. Jerry, what'd you think? That was pretty intimidating. <laughs> uh, well, we suck. What can I tell you? Just like UM, right? Pretty intimidating. All right, Jerry. So I'm going to reset the clock here. Give you 30 seconds to tell us why FSU sucks more than UM and go. All right. First of all, Dave, y'all always lose in North Carolina. Second of all, Seminole fans live and breathe suck. Our coaching staff sucks. Our quarterback sucks. Our fan base doesn't even cheer at the game anymore. Ooh, that's I mean, crazy. look at our records. We're we're barely going to make 7-6 this year, if that. We always suck. Our sod cemetery sucks. Our chant lately has sucked. I mean, we're going to wear black against Duke. That sucks. We <laughs> suck. <laughs> wow. All right, and time. 
He's talking about yeah. ugly, ugly outfits. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to say right here and now, I'm going to give it to Jerry because oh. he said the word suck more. Nice going, Jerry. Way to wrap it up and win this one and bring it home for FSU as a sucky, Come sucky on. school. That's great. Good job. Nice try, Dave. Jerry, great job. You get nothing for winning the suck battle. I love it. <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. All right, you can check Jerry out at TomahawkNation.com. Jerry, thanks for playing along with us. We appreciate it, man. For you, baby. Good luck, man. All right, take care, man. See ya. We're talking baseball when we come back. I wish you had children and so that I could step on the genitals. Welcome back. All right, we're shooting this Thursday night, which means right now the Indians are playing the Red Sox. Any hope the Red Sox can come back and win the series? I'm pleading the fifth. Wow, you're so defeated. No, my ulcer is flaring up. I can't talk about it. Just All right, well, reg on. regardless, one of those two teams is going to have their hands full with the Colorado Rockies. Kiss my money maker. Uh, first, a little self-adulation is in order. Dave wrote a blog at BleacherBloggers.com called Rockies Balboa, and it was featured at DenverPost.com. Way to go, Dave. Thank you, Brent. I actually have a speech prepared. Do I have time? No, we don't have any time. Actually, we'll move right on to our featured site for the Colorado Rockies. It's Bad Altitude, written by Mark T.R. Donahue, and here's what he writes. I feel like all 50,000 people at Coors Field came home in my brain. Nothing like this has ever happened before. At some point, I'm going to pass out from exhaustion, hypothermia, and or overstimulation. <laughs> he really captures in this blog what it's like to be just a diehard fan. Yeah. I mean, Chicago Cubs fans, you could take a lesson from this. And Yankees fans, you already know all about this. So it's a great blog. Check it out on Baseball Toaster. And speaking of baseball fans, how about another viewer video? Shake your money maker. On Tuesday, we showed you a video from Jeffra, a very sad and hopeless Mets fan. Oof. Well, now here's Sean, who wants to cheer Jeffra up. And then pick on the Mets. Let's right. check it out. Hey, guys. This message is for Jeffra. I really think you should keep the faith. And here's why. This is what happened to my beloved Cardinals in 2004. But we all know how that went against Boston. Now let's go over here, and this picture should sum it all up for Jeffra. Do you remember who that is, Jeffra? And do you remember when that happened? Yeah, that was Game 7 of the NSCS last year. That's Yadier Molina. That led to... That. So the whole point of this is, just keep the faith. Eventually, the Mets have to win, but I doubt it. Nothing like kicking a guy and an entire franchise when they're down. Let's get off the bench! Get off the bench! All right, guys, that video we just showed you, that is what we're looking for, and we want more of them. Mm -hmm. So make one, send it to us, and we'll put it on the show. That's right. This is your 15 minutes of fame. Think of how many chicks you can get. And if you are a chick, hi, Brent here. <laughs> All right, have a great weekend. Make some videos. We'll see you Tuesday. Bye, ladies.